Good afternoon and welcome to BNC Live. I'm Tishani Whitlow. We begin with breaking news. Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer is ready to retire, giving Joe Biden the first chance to nominate a justice to the high court. All right, a man that knows everything about what's happening in Washington. We bring in BNC's Washington Bureau Chief and, of course, host of D.C. Today, Del Walters. Del, always a pleasure. It's great to see you, sir. So let's jump right in. How monumental is this, Del? This is going to be huge because it gives the Biden administration their first chance to pick a nominee. Uh, Biden has already said it was going to be an African-American female. So you could imagine what the dynamics will be during those hearings. I was looking at the Senate Judiciary Committee where those hearings will take place. You've got 88-year-old Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley. You've also got... Uh, Lindsey Graham from South Carolina, John Cornyn from Texas, all of these three older white men will be asking questions about this person who will be deciding things, hot button issues like where abortion goes in the United States if Roe v. Wade is indeed done away with at the end of this term or at least gutted. Voting rights, uh, critical race theory, so much a social issue that is affecting America. Guns right now, whether or not concealed carry, whether the court takes that up before this term ends in June, and what happens to tighter gun laws across the states. So many different issues will be what this particular nominee will be asked about. And you can imagine, based on what you've been seeing in Washington, the divide will be Republican versus Democrat, old versus young. And yes, if it is an African-American female, as we anticipate it will be, black versus white. So stay tuned, as they say, and, and buckle up. All right, Del, I, wanna, I, I, I do want to ask you about that 50-50 split. But before I go there, I mean, Dems, they've been applying pressure uh, to Breyer since last year, encouraging, better yet, trying to almost push him out the door. What changed? Uh, what changes the political landscape, the fear that they are going to lose control of the Senate. And imagine, if you will, getting a nominee confirmed with a Republican Senate. Uh, they will want somebody who would be more uh, moderate uh, to conservative versus uh, the Democrats who would want somebody to be more liberal. And look at just what has happened with regards to this current court. Uh, because Merrick Garland was black, that was uh, blocked, excuse me, that was the nominee of Barack Obama that was, was put on hold because then Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said there wasn't enough time to get him confirmed. We should point out that uh, the, the, the last justice was confirmed in, in a period that was less than a month. So it's not like politics don't come into play. And now because there is a conservative court, this is the nominee that is going to be uh, getting all of the attention. All right. Now, Dell, you actually mentioned this earlier uh, about President Biden um, pledging to fill the Supreme Court vacancy uh, with a black woman. I, I want us both to listen to this. If I'm elected president, my my cabinet, my administration will look like the country. And I commit that I will, in fact, appoint a I'll pick a woman to be vice president. There are a number of women who are qualified to be president tomorrow. I would pick a woman to be my vice president. All right, Dell, perhaps this is a promise he is actually in control of keeping. How do we uh, hold his feet to the fire on this? And also, two-part question, how would a black woman transform the court? I think it depends on, on the black woman, to tell you the truth. I mean, let's look at Clarence Thomas. We do have an African-American on the court who replaced Thurgood Marshall. And, and some would say that that was not a fair trade at all. An African-American in this case replacing uh, or coming on to the Supreme Court would depend on her life experience, her background. Uh, how will she interpret things like uh, abortion? How will she interpret things like concealed carry? Uh, so many of the different social issues that affect us just because of the color of her skin does not mean that she will rule the way that the majority of black Americans would want. We see that with Clarence Thomas. Uh, if you take the most recent vote concerning the insurrection, the vote to release the documents was 8-1. Eight, eight, and Clarence Thomas was the one vote saying that he thought that the archives should keep them secret, those documents from the former Trump administration. So race is a factor, but also socioeconomic conditions and how they come up is also a factor. And, it, and it, it's important to point out that from a judicial standpoint, we want people that look and think and act like us. And sometimes in black America, it's tough to get through the rough and tumble of the judicial system without having some scars. And all of those scars are going to be laid bare for whoever she might be, the nominee. 
All right, BNC's Washington Bureau Chief Dell Walters. Buddy, always a pleasure. Thank you.